IP Tools for Excel has many features and functions. It does so many things. I'm going to show you three of them. The pings, and a lookup, and subnet calculator. Notice here is the IP Tools for Excel toolbar over here. Let's go over and insert a demo sheet. It's going to write this out for everybody, and you can read this pop-up box at your leisure. Let's go over to column A where I have host names and IP addresses. We want to select about 50 of those. The IP addresses are my local subnet. Let's just hit the ping button and see how fast we can ping 50 IP addresses or host names. We see the output starting to come over here in uh, column E, bangs and dots. Those are uh, bangs, explanation points, or ping success, and dots are the failures. You have the round trip times for each of the ping packets here. You can see what's going on. If you notice down in my local subnet, some of these pings down here didn't respond, so they're painted red in the output. Let's take those 50 IP addresses and host names and hit the NS Lookup button on there. How long does it take to NS Lookup 50 IP addresses and host names? There you go. If you want something like a continuous ping, cisco.com, right click, ping continuous. Oh, the window popped over here to the left. Let's bring it into view. And he's just going to ping for you. Uh, let's remove that. And everything is configurable in the config settings. Subnet calculator. Here it is. We're working with the 10.121.11.8 network. It's a slash 30 prefix. You see over here in the column. And this is all adjustable. It does so many things. There's your binary representation. You got your prefix, you got your masking. It all changes. There's so many things that this can do for you. You better take a look at this one. It's pretty special. You even get the comments over here. Ping statistics. Thanks for taking a look.